we have all waited, and the wait is finally almost over. The 2021 NFL regular season kicked off on Thursday with a matchup between the defending Super Bowl champions, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and the Dallas Cowboys. It was a nice taste of football, but Miami Dolphins fans are salivating for Sunday when their Dolphins take on their division rival, the New England Patriots. Miami is coming off of a 10-win season, one in which they still miss the playoffs. New England is coming off one of their worst seasons in a very long time, but the departure of quarterback Tom Brady had a lot to do with that. Brady went on to win his seventh Super Bowl with Tampa last season, while it looked as if the Patriots' dynasty finally ended. While the Patriots' dynasty has ended, Miami has been doing its best to build their own dynasty. The Dolphins have been rebuilding the roster and trying to gear up to become a perennial Super Bowl contender. Miami has made more attempts to rebuild the roster this offseason. First, they signed free agent wide receiver Will Fuller v. Then they made two first-round draft picks, adding receiver Jalen Waddell and Jalen Phillips. Here are three bold predictions for the Miami Dolphins' Week 1 game against the New England Patriots. The Dolphins also drafted offensive lineman Liam Eikenberg, but they are still trying to find their best combination of five starting offensive linemen. New England is favored to win the game, which is wild in my eyes. The Patriots did spend a lot of money this offseason on free agents. They also drafted quarterback Mac Jones in the first round. However, Jones will be making his first career NFL start against the dominant Dolphins defense. It will be interesting to see how Jones does in this game, but Miami should be able to walk away from week 1-1-0. Oh. That is not a bold prediction, so instead, here are three bold predictions for the Dolphins' Week 1 game against the Patriots. 3. Javon Holland picks off Mac Jones. After spending an entire offseason talking about starting quarterback Tua Tungavailoa, we didn't talk enough about a rookie that had a phenomenal training camp. That rookie was second-round pick safety Javon Holland. Holland got a little banged up and sat out with an injury, but he was making plays when he was healthy. Miami will need him to stay healthy and make plays in the NFL because that is what he did in college too. Holland only played two seasons at Oregon after opting out of the 2020 season because of COVID-19. In those two seasons at Oregon, Holland had nine interceptions and ten pass deflections. Those are great numbers for a safety, especially a young one at the time too. Miami agreed and took Holland with the 36th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft. Since then, Holland has picked off passes and created impact plays for his defense during training camp. I believe that will translate to his first career game, and Holland will pick off Jones for both of their first career interceptions. Holland will make an impact play with the interception, but he will also show that he will be a big-time player for the Dolphins for years to come. 2. Salvan Ahmed has a big game, again. The Miami Dolphins struck gold with 2020 undrafted free agent running back Salvan Ahmed. The 49ers released the former Washington Huskies running back, and Miami scooped him up. After sitting on the practice squad for a little, Miami activated Ahmed, and he didn't look back. The undrafted free agent rookie running back ended the season with 75 carries for 319 yards and three scores. He also added 11 receptions for 61 yards. Miami was 4-2 in the six games that he played and 3-1 in the four games that Ahmed started. The biggest win of those three games was Week 15 against the New England Patriots. Ahmed ran the ball 23 times for 122 yards and a score. He was Miami's first 100-yard rusher in two years. Ahmed has had an incredible offseason and has earned a significant role in Miami offense. That role will shine bright right away in Week 1 as Ahmed will get another chance to gash the Patriots' defense. I believe he will, and Ahmed will end the day with close to 100 total yards and a touchdown. The Pats do a good job of defending the running back out of the backfield, but Ahmed's role as a pass catcher will be valuable for Miami. Ahmed is going to have a big day in the office against the Patriots, again. 1. Tua Tungavailoa throw for 300-plus yards and three touchdowns. Has there ever, I mean ever, been a player that has been scrutinized as much as Miami starting quarterback Tua Tungavailoa in an offseason? I have never seen anything quite like the Tungavailoa drama in all my years of watching and covering the NFL. Tungavailoa was in the news every single day, and some days it was good, 
but most days, it was not. He became a punching bag for media members, and a lot of the negative talk was nonsense. However, luckily Tunga Vailoa can control the narrative now as we get closer to kickoff. If Tunga Vailoa can have a big year, many people will need to eat their words, and on Sunday, Tunga Vailoa will start his big year. Patriots cornerback Stefan Gilmore is out on Sunday, which means the Patriots' defense is in for a long day. Tunga Vailoa is going to gash the Patriots' defense and make a statement in Week 1. Look for Tunga Vailoa to throw for over 300 yards and throw three or more touchdowns. One of those touchdowns will be to Ahmed, but a nice bomb to Waddle will be just what Dolphins fans need as ammunition to make a lot of people eat their words.